And welcome back. Temperatures are staying seasonably warm. Most of us now into the Southern Valley into Lakes Country, currently into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Uh, we do have some warmer air out toward Oaks and Gwinter there into the mid to upper 80s, making our way further north into the upper 70s across portions of northwestern Minnesota, lower 80s into the Northern Valley and near 80 into the Devil's Lake Basin. Now we are a little more humid. Here's a look at the dew point temperatures across the region and some lower 60s on the map as you make your way into uh, Lakes Country, but from the Fargo area into the Northern Valley, Northwestern Minnesota, and especially out toward Jamestown, some mid to upper 60s, so very humid air out in that direction. We did have a southerly flow over the uh, past 24 hours or so that has pulled in some humid air, and it's made us a little warmer. Right now, we do have a front draped across the region, uh, a southerly wind ahead of it around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but the wind flipping around to more of a northerly direction behind it, that will pump down cooler and drier air from Canada. And the breeziest conditions are in our western counties. They do have wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. Here's how it looks on the satellite loop. We do have some sunshine into the Devil's Lake Basin right now. More clouds up and down the Red River Valley. We were tracking that line of storms that, that made its way through the Southern Valley. Uh, right now into portions of uh, uh, say from Sisseton to Wheaton into Grant County. Uh, that's exiting our viewing area and we're tracking that one severe thunderstorm that is right now just off to the north of Ellendale. Take your severe thunderstorm precautions if you do live in Ellendale. This is slowly moving off to the south. This one could be producing nickel to maybe a little larger than quarter sized hail. It's going, it goes until six o'clock so it will reach the South Dakota border by then and we'll see what the National Weather Service does as it moves into South Dakota. That's the only strong to severe storm that we do have in our viewing area right now. High pressure is working its way out, giving us that southerly wind. We do have that front that made its way through, gave us the thunderstorms behind it. High pressure is working its way in, and we have that flow from a northwesterly direction. So for Saturday and Sunday, we are getting back to sunshine and cooler and drier air. Here's how it looks on the hour by hour forecast. Any thunderstorms working their way south over the next couple of hours, the severe weather threat should be over. There could be some post frontal showers. Other than that, we'll have a decrease in cloud trend as we go through the evening and overnight. Uh, partly cloudy to mostly sunny for the day tomorrow and with that breezy northerly wind it will be cooler with highs mainly into the 70s across the region. Fargo starting off in the low 60s. Uh, we're going to have highs into the upper 70s. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny with that breezy northerly wind. Uh, into our northern counties highs into the mid 70s and we could reach the upper 70s uh, from the Fargo area points off to the south. And then as we go through the day on Sunday. It will be even cooler. Temperatures starting off into the mid 50s for lows. We're going to keep a northerly wind. It won't be as bad as Saturdays, but that will continue to keep us cool. Mostly sunny skies for your Sunday as temperatures will be into the mid to upper 70s. Here's the photo of the day. This is of uh, Lake Sarah Sunrise in Erskine, Minnesota. Thank you to uh, Dion for this one. We'll use it in the background of the uh, seven day forecast and there is your upper 70s over the next couple of days. Saturday and Sunday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, turning sunny for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, temperatures near 80 degrees. And then we have a chance of some showers and thunderstorms Wednesday evening and through the day on Thursday, both of those days into the mid 80s. And we stay into the mid 80s for Friday as we are back to mostly sunny skies. All right. Thank you, Justin. Mm -hmm.